if we look at the consumer market, and this is not all about enterprise software here. You know, there is such a thing as a digital lifestyle, and it's not the companies that are selling us stuff, it's consumers that are driving this. It's about communication and collaboration. Uh, there's expectation that there's connectivity across devices. Uh, they don't want just a dial tone. Uh, they want a lot of services from that cell phone, which is leaving the telcos scrambling for services that they can provide in addition to you know, just dial up. They want immediacy. They want omnipresence. Uh, Intel calls it always on. And they want it customizable. They want it programmable, not in the sense that they're going to you know, write C sharp code, but in the sense that they want it to be their content and their creativity and their friends. And also they want fair prices. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean free, but it does mean fair. And that is driving enormous change across any, any business serving the consumer. We talked about um, broadband and this, this really amazing uh, simultaneous equation of low cost stories and mass um, broadband availability has really created a huge opening in the market. I won't go through these figures, you can see them yourself, um, but there's a lot of market out there that really now we can assume that broadband is part of the platform if we're delivering something to the consumer. At the enterprise, we have a lot of similar things happening. Again, one of the things that was exciting uh, during the 80s when I was throwing diskettes around and Tom was Reading, was intrigued that I was able to throw the diskette and catch it, uh, was that uh, the advocates uh, in major corporations were the individual users. It, were the, it was the people that went out and said, oh, I can do this on a PC. I don't need a uh, mid-range computer like a DEC. I don't need, a, uh, what is a mainframe? I've never heard of it. You know, I can carry the computer home. Again, in the enterprise, we're finding that a lot of the power is going to the advocate. Although budgets are controlled by CIOs and CTOs, the driver is the end knowledge worker or customer. And again, it's about communication and collaboration one more time. A lot of the value of computing has moved to the communication layer. Uh, IM is simultaneously in use by consumers and enterprise customers. It is a transaction platform. Uh, it's, it's against a lot of transact, transact in an investment bank in an insecure IM environment, but if you can secure it, it is an instant VPN. And we're seeing also immediacy is really important here, um, driven by a lot of things like regulation, um, requiring conference security and privacy, uh, two years ago, we didn't really have Sarbanes-Oxley, we didn't have GLB, we didn't have HIPAA, which just became real this last year. And that requires us to put technology around some pretty loose stuff that no one vendor controls. Also, it's open. They want it programmable. And also, solutions are tied to ROI. So pricing is really interesting. You can't just make it up now. You have to demonstrate that you can deliver undeniable short-term return on investment to the customer. So there is actually a strategy for pricing right now in the software industry.